So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a drop-down list to select names. But not just an ordinary data validation drop-down list. We want to show either a sorted full list of all the names, or have an option to type in the first letter of the last name for a shorter list. So I'll just quickly show you. Here we want to, here we have um, a list, and all the names are sorted, so that's good. We can pick one of the names, but what if uh, it gets to the point where we have many thousands of names and it gets too tedious to scroll down even though it's sorted. So we go over to this column, first letter, we select let's say the letter D, and now over here we see only the last names that start with the letter D. So I'm going to show you now something that would, an easy way to get the sorted names, at least for the full list. Um, so what we can do, here we have our, let's call this our entry sheet. First name, last name, a formula for the full name, and higher date. So we come over here, we're going to, going to use the data validation. We're going to select list. In here, I'm going to say equals, press the F3 key, select a name range that simply refers to the data that you see here, the full name. Select OK, press OK again. And now we see all the names. So we see all the names in here. So the easy way now to make to sort this is we go back to our entry sheet, this entry area, and we simply select full name and we press this little button right here to sort it. And now when I go back in here, it's all alphabetical. So I could drag this down and in the second one I could scroll down and easily find the, the first and only last name that starts with the letter E. So that's definitely one way to do it. But uh, two points. Number one, you'd have to sort this all the time. And if you're OK with sorting data, then that's perfectly fine. But if you're creating this for someone else to use that doesn't have uh, a lot of Excel skills, you might not want them to go in and sort the data because they might uh, be only entering things. And uh, you know, different people do different things. So. Uh, and the other part is how do you s easily select the first letter to see that shorter list in here? So that does take some formulas. So let's go back to the main sheet here. Um, so why is it necessary? We went through that and now we're going to sort by full name. Okay, so there's a few steps. So we'll go to this sheet and once again here we have uh, first name, last name, a formula that pulls them together and we have something like higher date, which you would need if this was an employee database. All right, what's the first step? Well, we have these four steps to get our information into this final sorted list. So you see how in here it's not sorted uh, when it's the last name and the first name together, but here it is sorted. So first step is to sort of rank it. So how many names are before this name? And this, this name starts with a W, like the last name. So almost all of them, except for this one, like this is near the very end of the names. And uh, this name, the last name starts with a Y, is even beyond this name that starts with a W. So when we do this rank, I'll show you what it does. Uh, we'll go into the formula bar, and there's only two parts to it. So first of all, th these are this is the full name, all these last names, or last name and first names. We're comparing all of those to the name that we see here, Yanis Yarnell. So we're comparing how many names are less than this name alphabetically. So there's 102. So now we'll go to a name. Let's go down to number one. This is Yvette Adams. And this is the first name alphabetically. We can see it here, Yvette Adams. So how does this work? Well, let's go into the formula here. When I highlight the whole thing, I press F9, it's actually a zero. But we don't want to see a zero. We want the first name to have a one. So I just say plus one, and that's for all of them. They all have that plus one. So now we know that this is the first name. That's the second name. The last name starts with AD. And uh, you know the third name would be in here somewhere, and it would be very similar. The last name is A-N-D-I-N-G. So now we've got sort of a rank for all of these names. And the next thing is, I just put in a simple counter. So just one, two, three, all the way down. Um, it would just be something that you have to type in or maybe a formula. Anyways, that's the counter. Um, and now what we want to do is, here's our match. This is the, the real, the, I guess, powerful step to start to sort this these names. So we are looking for, here's our match. 
and there's three parts. First of all, what's our lookup value? Well, we're looking for the one, so, and this is a table format, so it says at counter, but it just means the value in the counter field for the current row. So really we're looking up the number one. And next part is where we are looking, the lookup array, which is this area, we're looking for the, the one, which is here, in that area. And then the zero's exact match. So this gives us a number of where it's found. So if we look for the 33 in here, there is the 33. So now we know that this is the first name. And then the 36 is where we find the two. So the 36 is saying if I were to count down 36 cells in this area, I would eventually find the number two. And there is the number two. We see it right there. It's a 36, and that is the name. So we go back to the top, there's the name. So the last step is simply an index to say, okay, go to the full name, so this is our array, and I want to find number 33, the 33rd name in this area. So it all the way down and it sorts all the data for us. So this concludes the, uh, the first step of our whole entire solution, but just to review quickly, the rank is simply saying, where is this name relative to all the other names in the column? It's just a little ranking system, and then we have a simple counter, and so these two sort of go together. And now we're saying, um, let's say for instance, we want to find the eight in this area, basically. And then we find it, it's number 15. So, where is rank, no, rank number eight uh, in this area, and we see it down here. So that this name is going to go and we see it up here. Uh, so <laughs> I know there's a lot of things there, so that's why I'm going to chop this into three videos. And so we've basically covered this part.